Last thing we left off from what I remember, we took on Tatiana, and that that trial fight was awesome. I I one hundred percent have to say that that is probably another one of my favorite trials in these expansions and all that. Like uh, the one that stuck out to me the most in Stormblood was the trial with uh, uh, Suyu. I love that trial. But this next one, uh, Tatiana's, is by far awesome. And then I think we are heading back to Crystarium. Okay, so what is it that we need to do for left? Uh, yeah. Manager of the Suites, a party soon divided. What's going on here? The manager of Suites is a cheerful mood. Why? Good evening to you, sir. I do hope you are well rested. The Exarch and your companions are presently gathered in the ocular. He asks that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. Okay. Alright. Let's speak to the Exarch and see what's going on. Do you have business? Yes, we do. I can't believe there's actual sprouts here. Let's see what's going on. Yep, I see everyone there. Besides your Stola, where's your Stola at? <laughs> Maybe with Meterson. Ah, oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Mm-hmm. So he made his way in. What are you trying to do, man? I mean, you already told us your plan, but still, like... Mm, what's going on? Did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Yeah, but didn't think it was this soon. Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your Exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? Right. Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. Right. Seems a bit too You're obvious so to petty. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Hmm. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. It is. I don't think it ever did. <clears throat> well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? Mm. So why won't you just like... I, you're after something. What was that all about? 
Yeah, he's he's obviously after something. And I'm just wondering why he's not taking an effort to actually do something. I mean, I see he's trying to interact with us. But, like, he has something else in mind. A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Hmm. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. There's gotta be something... <laughs> um, a colonel, perhaps? Not one jot. I don't know, but he if he crosses us, I'll make him wish he didn't. Um, to be honest, I think there might be just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. If he simply meant to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least... Not in the manner he did. Right. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Hmm. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. Hmm. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. <laughs> that may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Armareng, and Raktika remain. Right. Indeed, and their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. Okay. I'll take our meringue in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. Oh, I see why everyone's being divided. So we're all going to places where we once were already. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmore that may prove useful. Right. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find your stone. With her assistance, I doubt the warden will evade your grasp for long. Your stola, my queen. <laughs> is your stola the conjurer you and Uriange used to talk about? Yes, it is. Do you know anything of her? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is. Disinclined to speak with me. Why is that? You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. Okay. A letter. What's that? Right. <laughs> what is it? A missive from Lord Vorthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Laurent. Vultry? What is he? Oh boy. Oh boy. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him. Even if only a few words are exchanged. Oh man, I'm interested to see how that's gonna go. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Oh, really? Hmm. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to your war prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Right, he is pretty much all knowledgeable about that area, so why not? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Guess I'll see you guys soon. Be careful out there. Alright, time to make my roundabouts and talk to everybody. 
At last, I can finally meet your Stola. Thancred has told me so much about her. I know, she's so great. She's such a great girl. Can't wait to see her again. Um, Mephili and I are no strangers to Ratika, but this is perhaps the first time we've bothered her entering through the pervadable, uh, profitable front door. Okay, Yuri Anje. Uh, I should be glad to apprise the of your solo's recent endeavors during our journey to Ratika. Cool, it'd be nice to have you. Uh, there are so many ruins scattered throughout Amoreg. I'm uh, I'm honestly not even sure where to start. Yeah. Uh, I confess a great deal of my time in Christo uh, Collegia. I keep forgetting how to say that. Was spent befriending the people, but that is not to say I gave no thought to our primary goal. Once I have escorted the XR to Yulmore, you can be certain I will do all I can to discern the whereabouts of any warden that may be hiding in Kosia. I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, what do you want me to do? Before you leave, I will make a request of you. There is a church, or rather the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out your stola? Sure. It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within that hall, there remains a tablet whose writing, I believe, may prove of use to your stola. At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considerate proposal very well. Here we depart to Ratika. We shall journey into Fort Job that we might secure this relic. Why do we need to get a relic for Yustola? Safe travel, San. I pray that the tablet and its contents prove its interest to Yustola. Mm. Okay, yeah, they're just saying the same thing. Uh, okay, I'm curious. Why do we have to impress Yastola? I find that very odd that we have to impress her in some type of way. Because I thought that we were pretty good already, like friends and all that. Yeah, I thought we were pretty good with Yastola, so I'm kind of curious as to why we have to impress her with a relic. Thank her that I have come across these ruined churches before. I wish I could have seen them before the flood. The windows were works of art, I'm told. Uh, I do not doubt this place may weather another assault by the seniors, but they cannot hope to hold it should the Umarian soldiers return. Even with their limited numbers, the guard can use the terrain to their advantage. Perhaps I can convince the captain to lay a few traps out in the field. Okay. Here amidst these ruins, we will find a church of the first light and within the hollow hall, the tablet we seek. Time is of the essence, my friend. Let us be quick. Okay, he seemed a little faith. Lost in thought. At the height of the Lakeland's prosperity, these, these sites served not as man's final Boston, but as a testament to his ingenuity, 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 yeah, ingenuity. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, architectural prowess. And the Church of the First Light was responsible for many such marvels, building majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Alas, the flood with its exertable tides would drown nigh every one and did all but put an end to the religion as a whole. For the creatures, which then did rise from the fledgent deluge, we were seen as agents of the divine punishment sent to devour sin and sinners, both whence came the name of Sin Eater. The people were lost, seamlessly forsaken by their god. Yet where there is light, there have been shade, and twas in the dark they sought solace. The most devout of these worshippers, our shadow, did then Margaret to the Ratika Great Wood, 
but that is a tale for another time. For now, let us find that remaineth of the chapel here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's find it. Okay, it's telling me to go... Well, there's Dankard, but it's telling me to go lower. Oh, there's Yuriandre, too. Uh, despite their architectural prowess, I can make neither head nor tail of anything in this place. You would think the rem remnants of the church would be more conspicuous. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's a lower area. So it would be most u unusual, but mayhap the hall was built below ground? Yeah, that's what I was figuring since he was telling me to go lower. Survey the area. Let's go down here and see what's going on. Definitely looks like a church down here. Hi, right, this is indeed a church we seek. It's surprisingly intact. With little is left of the churches I've seen until now has always borne the scars of decades of disuse. Its subterranean construction had done much to protect the hall from the ravages of time. Yet the reason for its remarkable preservation may be deduced from its decoration. Okay, as faith in the light did wine, so rose reverence for the dark. And it follows did want for places of worship to be plain the standards which do adorn these walls belong not to those who built them, but to worshippers of the dark, the knights blessed, who sub subsequently uh, migrated to Ratika, yes? Yes, yeah, subsequently. Indeed, was beneath the shaded both of the Ratika Greatwood that they finally found security. Uh, not security, yes. <laughs> Sanctuary! Uh, often, many times, did Yomor make sparse out overtures of the friendships unto them, but they are no fools. The Exarch knoweth full well that Yostola in her seclusion doeth labor to learn all she may of the blessed in their past. Tis why he sent us here, I now see. I guess, I don't think I see it as much. The tablet of which he spoke no doubt provided a glimpse into the history that she yearneth to comprehend. Okay, so she wants to know the history of the churches. Well then, we better hurry up and find it. Yep, let's see if we can find... Any tablet with the history of the churches here. Well, there's one right here. Uh, search your surroundings for the tablet. You move the camera as well as zoom in and out to target. Okay. I didn't even bother looking at everything else. Duh. There's uh, Yuri. Thank you searching over there. Can anyone tell me what this infernal tablet even looks like? <laughs> yeah, I agree, man. Then. Uh, I can barely see my hand in front of my face. If only that torch were a little closer. Wrote a tablet, a fragment of holy scriptures, to what most assuredly rests here on this altar. Yet this would, I presume, also have been where the blessed placed the font of seeing unused in the practice of their faith. Whether then would they have set the tablet? Yeah, it makes sense why they would put it up there. Not up there, but it also kind of makes sense why they wouldn't either have have it right there because. In the flames? No. Uh, under the table? No. In the wood? In somewhere? Maybe. I find the time worn. Okay. 
There's only certain areas that it will allow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? Time worn tablet. You have located the time worn tablet. I was like, I don't know where this could be. Under the table. <laughs> Did we not bother checking under the table? Come on, guys. Hey! Under the table. Check under the table. Within the altar, thy sayest? Or altar, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of goofy. Okay, I certainly hope this is what we were looking for. Uh, how were you able to see it in the dark and inside the altar of all places? Well, I have these video game eyes that allows me to see certain things. I don't know. Not escapeth thine eye, it would seem. This is indeed a tablet we seek. Curious, these engravings uh, predate the Knights of Blessed. If I am not mistaken, they are right in the script of the ancient empire of Ranka, whose capital once stood in the midst of what is now Ratika. It would be no small matter to decipher them. Hmm. A fine gift for our seeker of truth. Tis plain that the XR understandeth Yastrola only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for our journey into the woods. Cool. Thank you. Hey, there's our girl. Okay, Yuriyanju is ready to leave, but not before first offering a piece of advice into the dark. Uh, here we depart. This is a custom of the nice blessed which I feel compelled to allocate. Uh, as one might expect, they deem light to be abrupt, and everything it touches be fouled. Thus do they take the utmost pains to protect all they can from its taint, including their very names. To speak plain, it is the belief of the blessed that one's own name must never be uttered in the light of the everlasting day. Yet this commandment precluded not, to, not the use of another's. Thus do parents protect their children, and in rare cases, masters their disciples. So it is that Yostola has taken the name of Master Matoya. Really? She took her master's name. Lest we offer them. I bid you speak not her true name in the blessed presence. With that in mind, let us speak with the guard who keepeth Virgil, I mean Virgil, at the Great Wood border. Master Matoya. She took her master's name. Hmm. So she's really trying to take in the history of this world and consider it her own life with it. I mean, that's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting from her right now. I'm really curious to see how Yostola is like, because she's wearing black clothes, which makes me think that she's potentially maybe a black mage instead of a white mage now. I don't know. That's just my thought as of right now. Uh, I know I have no an no reason to, but I can't help feeling nervous about meeting your Stola. Yeah. It would be good to see your Stola again. It would be. Uh, I pray the heed mine explanation of the blessed customs. It would be ill advised to provoke their ear. Yeah, I know. Call her Master Matoy instead of your Stola. Well, Met Traveler, what business brings you here? I'm trying to see a friend. Yes, of course. Right this way. <laughs> That's all I said. I'm trying to see your friend. No matter how far he goes, man cannot resist looking back on the path he has walked. The song. The untold stories and secrets of the past can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. So he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. Of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. The Raktika Greatwood. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. We have arrived. 
I'm sorry. That's this sound. This song sounds so goofy. Okay. Yeah, we have arrived. Vast though these woods may be, they are by and large uninhabitable. Not so the swamps of Sidia, however, whose sparse foliage permitted man a foothold. Well, there's this guy again. No lands must remain beyond our grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule. Forgive me. A sudden pang of nostalgia for those halcyon days. Okay. Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples, all for the glory of Garlemald. If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. Can we not simply take a moment to enjoy the view together? Or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? <sighs> Much more of this, and I may very well begin to regret my show of good faith. Oh, yeah. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. Mm, no, I think not. I am an observer, nothing more. Even shielded by the shadows of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. To accompany you is taxing enough. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your commentary. <laughs> Are we really having this guy tag along with us? Thinker has told me the Asians and what they have done. If he isn't willing to help, is it wise to let him stay with us? Yeah, it is a bit odd for him not wanting to fight. Uh, if he never opened his mouth again, it would be too soon. What is it now? Do you expect me to regale you with friendly banter? Oh, very well. I will humor you this once. You may consider it my latest act of good faith. Come on, then. What do you wish to know? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Why choose this form here in the first? Yeah. Well, 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 what a curious question. Mortal flesh is but the vessel into which we Asians pour the elixir of our souls, molding it as fit as the fits the occasion. Or not, if we choose, if we so choose. Be it for a year or a millennium. I prefer to retrain, retain the same form until my duty is done. So after arriving here in the first, I finish some hapless body into the man you see before you. Though as your friend over there can attest, there are those of us who forego such alterations. He was ever the rash one, La Habrea, jumping from vessel to vessel, never heeding the toll it took on him. Alrighty. Tis plain our Asian counterpart meaneth to follow whatsoever we lead, were it otherwise we would not suffer the overabundance of light in these woods. Verily it provideth, provideth every corner, and so long as the light warden remaineth, the sin eaters shall be free to prey upon these lands without surcease. If not is done, it's but a matter of time before the blessings succumb. Two years past, a swarm of sea natives did lay waste unto their largest settlement, killing a great many of their priests and so doing. Though some few did survive, they knew not how to f go on. Wayward souls in want of the guiding hand for a mercy, your stola hath provided that which they so need. Uh, they have since endeavored to restore their home, and tether shall we bend our steps to Fort Gone. 
Dang, Yuri Andre, why is your dialogue so... It's... It's so out there at times. Uh, okay, Mind Maker. Level 80 Mind Maker. Wow, that thing looks interesting looking. Like, can I get another closer look at it real quick? Oh, I thought I thought he was getting ready to attack me. <laughs> yeah, that thing looks weird. Oh, there it is, right up there. I was like, where is this at? There we go. Going up here, and we shall take you. Oh my gosh, this song. I don't know if I... <laughs> I don't know if I can hold myself listening to this song. It was a lower level one, so I was like, I will fight it. It's, it's an interesting looking enemy, but it doesn't mean I want to fight another one. <laughs> Just saying. Go on somewhere. Okay. Uh... 166 northeast, so that's like in that direction. Let's go here first. And there's everybody else. Alright, let's talk. Uh, well, where is this friend of yours we've come to meet? Give it a second. You know, Yanji said they were rebuilding, but there is no one here. Uh, we both know how Yuri Anji enjoys painting pictures with his words, but he did not exaggerate about this place. Hmm. You know, I just noticed. I think this is the place in the opening trailer that was on fire? That's my guess. Okay. Cutscene. Maybe a cutscene? Well, it still is, but... I see little sign of recent activity. Nor hath any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction. Mayhap Yashtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. What the heck? Oh, come on. We know we can take out these guys. But it's okay. It's better playing it safe than trying to fight. Sinators, they're not like the others. Wait, you're calling us sin eaters? What? What? You know what a Sin Eater looks like, right? Why are you calling us Sin Eaters? There's a reason for that. Lower your weapons, please. We mean you no harm. How is it they could speak? It's a Sin Eater trick. They mean to kill us all. I don't think any of you have seen a Sin Eater. Uh, Koopa? <laughs> Uh, Koopo? <laughs> Please, we're not Sin Eaters. Perhaps they speak the truth. Yeah, we do. Oh, for the love of... I don't blame you, man. I hoped that by accompanying you, we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. Dude, go on somewhere. You are an. Yeah, let's You've move on. You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. And so, I retire to the shade. This guy! Good luck. Did you see that one disappear? <laughs> that is not helping our case. I think I preferred La Habrea. Really? Oh, please let that be our girl. Enough. 
Runar, report. Oh yeah, that's definitely our girl. You stole it. Master Matoya. There gone. She looks so good. Look at her. She looks so yeah, good. I them as you ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? Uh, light wardens powered absorbed into side me. Yeah. It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? Mayhap it hath been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Oh yeah, the warrior of the, the warrior of light. He is pretty much, he's pretty much has the strong power of light and all that. Or Hydaelyn, and she doesn't detect. I mean, she thinks of us as a sin eater, because yeah, yeah, you pretty much get what I'm saying. Master Matoya, hath time truly made strangers of us? Right, come on, you know us. You look good. Nay, I recognize you, Urianger, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. Mm hmm. Just so. And knowing as thou must that we come in peace, might I prevail upon thee to have thy comrades lower their arms? First, explain this other presence in your company, the one I know not. Wait. How do you not know me? There is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. Mine apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Though he is but recently arrived here in the first, not one but two light wardens have already perished by his most puissant hand. It cannot be. <laughs> you truly thought me a sin eater? Nice to see you too, Master Matoya. It's been too long, clearly. I'm gonna say that. That seems nicer. Not nicer, but better. Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. Oh, yeah! I just remembered. At the end of Stormblood, her and Thancred were the first one to go out. And they've been in this world longer than the others. And then it was Yurianje. No, no, no. It was Alphano, then Yurianje, then Alize. I think. Maybe Alphno and Yurianje I got backwards, but I do remember Yustola and Thancred being the first ones to go out. Forgive us this hostile welcome. Come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. I forgot this song. Okay. I didn't expect her to be so imposing in person. Yeah. That ended a lot better than I might have. It might have. No thanks to Emersec. Yeah, I know. He did not help at all. That she should imagine him a stranger. Yeah, I'm confused why she doesn't recognize me. Hold on. I gotta take a look at her real quick. My gosh, you look good, girl. Look at you. I think black looks good on you. All right, I'm done. Okay, you have been busy since 
Arriving in the first, I'd gather, but I would hear the tale of your travails in more suitable surroundings. With fourth gone yet to be rebuilt, the knights blessed have made their homes in the settlement to the northeast. I will await you at its entrance. Follow the path through yonder gate and you will find me soon enough. Cool. I am confused as to why she uh, didn't recognize me. Yeah, doesn't she like recognize light very well? Like I remember she was very knowledgeable about the surroundings of people's aether and all that. So wouldn't she just recognize my aether as well? I don't know. I'm just over here trying to remember and figure out a few things. Alright, there she is. Oh, his chocobo looks good. What the heck? Did two people come out of that chocobo? Oh, two people was riding on that chocobo. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> okay. You're still, uh, there you are. I was beginning to worry much like the 12 would. Uh, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress. Let me show you the home of the Knights Blessed. Cool. Uh, hopefully you don't mind me, um... Northeast. Okay, yeah, I should keep going in. I was gonna explore a little bit more, but I don't think I need to right now. I like this cave entrance. It's very nice looking. Whoa, look at that elephant. Uh, there's a yokai watch. Okay, uh, let's talk to Minfilet. Okay, have you ever seen such a tree to think these are only the roots? Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I, I didn't even think that was a huge tree. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Finally, a place to rest. Yeah. To make their home here so swiftly would surely have required no small amount of ingenuity. I must imp A most impressive feat. Would if thou not agree? Oh yeah, definitely. Thiverbal is the largest of the blessed settlements. They worship no gods, instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the flood. Hmm. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. Yeah, this is fine. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. Her office is very much Master Matoya. I see. And now you seek the Light Warden of Rektika. Thank God, she looks so good. In the good. days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half-truths soon lost him my trust. And thus did I strike out on my own. My work eventually led me here to the forest. Which I've come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Well, go on then. 
Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya. That is an interesting way to spell that name. Or rather, could be found. Were the area not fiercely guarded? Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. The Bunny Girls. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. I forgot the name of the warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. As for the tablet, I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. Here if there we is what I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Come. Thank you, Urianger. I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Yeah, very well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. If you'll excuse me. Um. He understands that I'm not the same. That I'm not her understands perhaps but does not accept the question being whether he ever will and whether you will more importantly as difficult as your circumstances may be they are yours not his it is you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life but you need not make any hard choices now why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Dang, you're stolen. She's cutting deep on everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was like, she ain't holding back on anybody on stuff. Okay, I wish... I wish I'd never, uh... When your soul first arrived in the first, she made swift work of the cabinet of curiosity. Her thirst yet unstated. She then journeyed hither seeking the wisdom of Ranka. She found little in the way of welcome from the blessed. However, it was not until the great fire where she denied the sin eaters a feast of ether that she gained her their trust. 
Since then, I have served as a liaison twixt Slither Bra of the Crystallium, that she might be kept a beast of the other's efforts. Okay. A day in the neighborhood. Your soul is staring off into the distance, lost in thought. I am not indifferent to Thankra's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to a higher standard after all of these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and that is what I will continue to expect. Though it hurts me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. I can but imagine how Alize and Alphano have changed since arriving here in the first. They still seem the same. Change a part of life, we can but hope it changes for the better. Perhaps you should concern with how you have changed. I will say the first one, because it is a part of life. <sighs> You're right. And after my untoward remarks to Thancred, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worse. I will have to speak with him later. Ahem. Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin work on the deciphering this tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look about Slitherbra. If there is anything you need, pray speak with Ronner at the plaza. Okay, let me see. Does she say anything else? I am instructed Ronner to help you with anything you should require. Okay, cool. Actually, I want to like take a look around at some places real quick. What's going on down here? Is he playing like hopscotch or something down there? What is this kid doing? Maybe I should join him. I still remember when I first came here as a child. Everyone was still dressed in garbs, all sorts of colors. We yet to find any sense of community back then. Hmm. No, nope, the kid's not gonna say anything. My brother and I came here two years ago after the Great Fire. It still hurts to think of home and all that we've lost. So the fire did really happen. I thought we might experience it like the opening did, but no. I didn't talk to this girl. Uh, the unchanging sky makes it difficult to judge the passing of time. That is why it's so important to have our meals at the same time each day to help our bodies maintain their natural rhythm. Okay. Welcome, friend. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? My name is Santa Tokyo. I'm from the source. From the Crystallium? Uh, yeah, I didn't say that, but sure. I see, and this tablet you've brought may help us find the light warden here in Ratika. Well, you are welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Oh, there's Minfilia probably wants to join around too. Would it be all right if I join you? Of course, of course, anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain and our home in ruins, we were at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community, a great oak within whose shadow many have come to find solace. That is not to say there were not those hesitant to grant an outsider such as authority, such authority myself included. Perhaps it's a simple smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again now that she is with us, and I have no doubt the others feel the same. She is as much of a part of the night's bless as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service to the dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now you should know there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to so long as they reside within the Slitherbrook. 
to show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not to involve. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Yeah, let's go. There's Manphilia. Uh, I thought Master Matoya kept her room dark because she didn't need the light, but they're all like hers, aren't they? Uh, should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Ratika. We use the water stored here and to cleanse ourselves of the light impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is one of our most important. Would you two kneel for just a moment that I might rid you of the light's purity? Sure, we'll kneel. You ready for this kneel? Uh, let's find this real quick. There we go. As Rana lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. I got butterflies. <laughs> no. And with that, you have been cleansed of the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? Well, I'm the Lord. Wait. I'm the... I was going to say, I'm the warrior of light, so uh, I still feel a bunch of light in me. Whatever, but I'm also the warrior of darkness. I'm not sure to be honest, not refreshed exactly, but I do feel different. I feel wet for some reason. Did you pour water on me? <laughs> okay, let's get serious. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests, they are practiced in the arcane arts. As such, it is said their prayers imbued the water with a faint, dark energy. You know, if this was like the world where darkness is bad and light is good, just saying, we just imbued you with darkness sounds terrible. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because I got to turn everything around in this world. A prickling sensation. No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. Yeah, I felt butterflies, tingling, and all that. I don't know. It, what kind of condition is this? I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I do felt something strange. Hmm. The dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect. Unless... By the gods, Master Matoya was right. You are sin eaters. Oh my gosh. Please don't do this again. I just, I just. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Eh, I figured. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of Sletherbra. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. All in tuta. In the language of Ranka, it is one of the several ways one might say, Good evening. It is the evening. The world is not as, as safe as it once was, and its greetings lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or a gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. Mm-mm. You need not worry, merely speak the words Alan Tuta, and they would know you as a friend of the blessed. I will admit, I will await your return here. Now go, they are like, they are like to be hearted by your knowledge of our ways. All right, well, let's give it a try. Uh, enter Alan Tuta, 
to greet the villagers of Slitherbroth. Alright. Alright, so all I gotta do is type in all in tuta. There we go. Cool. Uh, the elderly woman smiles warmly. Let's see. Uh, all in tuta. All in GC! Welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison in near everything you see. But fear not. Our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. As and it is yours. That did not sound very comforting, but okay, sure. Oh, there's a door over there. I didn't realize. Okay. All in tuta? <laughs> Ah, a newly come traveler, Alan GC, and welcome to Slitherball. Uh, Slitherbro? Whatever. You must forgive us if we seem strongly reserved. We are a quiet and taciturn people, silent and serene as the sunless sea. The quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Yeah, that makes sense. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. Uh, there is still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now how they've built such a thriving community. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Trying to fix my mic up. Okay. I can see. Yeah, yeah, I already did that. Uh, a helping hand. Ah, right, you are returned. Very good. No doubt they were glad of your company. It has been too long since we had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions or there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. I'll keep it in mind. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand... <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh, yeah, sure. What is it that you need? We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug and water the crops in the square. May I help too? Of course. One of you can do the filling and the other can do the watering. Speak with Arsabel. When you have finished, she will be relieved to hear the crops have been ting tended to. Uh, while you take care of that, I will see to your room and a warm meal. Right then, I'll fill you water. Um, should we switch that? Because these things look like... How are you going to fill that, Minfilia? Because those things are about the same size as you. Maybe bigger. Matter of fact, they are bigger. Alright, whatever. Let's see what we need to do. Okay, this was the only jug I could find which was small enough to lift. I knew it. You're too small. <laughs> but I'm afraid there's a crack in the bottom. Oh, no. You'll need to hurry to, garden, to the garden and before all the water leaks out. Take the jug of water to the square before the contents leak out. You will have 45 seconds to complete the task. Should you fail, return to Minfilia and try again. Run! I can't run, so I'm going to have to do as fast as I can. Okay, where is that I need to go? Where's the plants? Where's the crops? I need to be able to go ahead and put this water in there. Oh my gosh, it's going out. Dump it. You have watered half of the plot. Fetch another jug of water. 
to take care of the rest. I wonder, will she say anything about me, Planetes? People from the all walks of life are welcome among the Knights Bliss. Our faith in the dark is infinitely greater than the sum of our differences. Okay. Alright, Mephilia. Another. Was there enough water for the plot? No, I need another one to fit the rest. Only half? I see. Well, let me refill the jug for you. Take another jug of the water to the square before the contents leak out. Yada, 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 yada. All right, here we go, round two. Let's do this. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. We're almost there. Keep it going. I don't know how some people can probably run out of this. They have to really uh, probably take their time or something. The whole plot has been now thoroughly watered. Cool. I watered all your plants and your crops and stuff. Well met, travelers. I observed you really, you earlier, speaking with the others. Have you need of something? Uh, you water the crops? Oh, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I have been rather distracted of late. Yeah, I ran past you like three times and you didn't even notice. Watering the crops was always taught us duty, but she, she is no longer with us. Oh, I'm sorry. We have since taken to, to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else we can do to help? We could plant something if you like. There is no need. The plot is small and it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. Really? I don't know how you manage. Have the blessed not considered leaving? Life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Yeah. Tell me, do you know our history? How our faith came to be? Ah, er, yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was intentionally initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community with ultimately decided to strike out on its own in Ratika, Greatwood. I see you have read your history, but there is a history that is told and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the nice blessed lost everything, their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost in the flood when the bodies were reborn as sin eaters. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned you know, along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. But soon they realize that there were that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth they found new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond these burning skies in the sunless sea above. That is why we pray for the safe passage of wayward souls into that blessed black abyss for the return of the night that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the safe same reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yulmur, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. Yeah. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast the material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts, to help 
alive the legacy they have left us. This we must do for them, our children and generations yet unborn. To keep their legacy alive. Pretty understandable. Uh, people from all walks of life are welcome to my. Uh, yeah, I think I've already read that. Uh, oh, yeah, she's thinking about it. Uh, lost but not forgotten. Runner has more work to be done. Okay, what is it? Done tending to the crops already? Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runner. Uh oh, we got trouble. In the woods. Pat. Breathing, breathing, of course. Sin eaters. I fear they may have the touch. What? Where? In the grove of the southwest. For mercy, they've yet to wander any closer. To Slither, bro. Okay. And we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is to set foot outside the village until we have moved. But, sir, what of Tadeo's heartstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for Sin Eaters to appear. Um, are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But if they indeed have the touch, I would not risk them cor corrupting one of our own. Then let me do it. What was that you said about a stone? A few days passed. Tadia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeed in retrieving her body, but in our haste, we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Uh, strung to it was a pendant of jade, her hearthstone. All of the knights blessed are giving such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. And it's custom. I mean, it is custom to present the hearthstone of the deceased at their funeral, as an offering to the heavens. But now. What if, what if I could find it for you? I haven't experienced fighting sin eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoya called you Memphilia, did she not? Are you truly the Memphilia, descended from the Oracle? Guess I am. <laughs> Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that our that your people are in need and I can help. Please let me do this. Very well. But if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if I were forced to hold a second service. Gasp, I nearly forgot about Thankrit. What if he returns before I do? Don't worry, I'll come along with you. Yeah, that's what I'll say. And then think we doesn't need to know too. If we get back on time. Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly and may the shadows keep you both. I could probably keep this, uh not keep this, but I could probably do this other quest while I'm at it. Try to get all my ether currents while I'm at it. Let's do it. All right, there's Memphilia, so let's go ahead and talk to her, and then we can do this quest. It should be around here somewhere, I think. Are you sure about that, Memphilia? All right, cutscene. 
Yeah, she looks like she's ready for battle. There, the Sin Eaters. Oh yeah, it is one of the strong ones. Oh god, two of them. Those are two of the strong ones. Those were bosses in the first dungeon. I was hoping there would be only one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Let's get it to it then. Perhaps we should split them up? What do you propose we do? Uh, I say maybe... No, because if we try to sp split up, it'll be hard for each of us. Well, there is two of them. We could probably fight one of each. But it'll be kind of dangerous to take it on by ourselves. Especially because those are the strong ones. Uh, let me see what she has to say. Fighting them together here would make a lot of noise, right? Which might attract beasts and other eaters. But if we fought them separately and quietly, we might not have to worry about that. Yeah. See, I was thinking that, but then it was I thought it was probably too dangerous. Alright then. I'll draw one away while you can handle the other. Alright. Be careful out there. La hit la bebula. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Every time that happens. Dude, I can't believe I'm fighting an actual one of these outside of a dungeon. You're not doing any of your special abilities. That means you suck. I'll try to get some more MP while we're at it. I mean, he's about almost dead, so it probably wouldn't matter too much. Bam. Dead. Alright. Should check up on Memphilia. Hopefully she's fine. I mean, it was a strong one, but she seemed like it seemed like they were a lot weaker. Oh, there goes that sin eater. She took it out. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Oh, you okay, Memphilia? San, huh? <laughs> there you are. It's done though. I fear I was a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. Oh, are you okay, girl? I, I'm i fine. You need to worry about me. More importantly, we have to find the Hearthstone. They said it was, it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Yeah, and be careful. All right, let's see if we can find it ourselves somewhere, so... Any noticeable areas that are sparkling, potentially? Yep, right over there. I'll talk to her real quick. Fluff dialogue, you know. It must be here somewhere. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, let's search here first. There seems to be no trace of the hearthstone here, okay. Seems to be no trace, not here. Let's hope this one might have it. Third time's a charm, maybe? Alright, let's see. You brush away the leaves and uncover a brilliant green gem. Hey, third time's a charm. Alright, well, let's find Memphilia. Alright, Memphilia, I think I found it. Did you have any luck? Yep, right here. It's beautiful. This has to be it. The music cued in just in time. You know, Thinkard always said you were a man of many talents, and I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm not to be even half the hero you are. The hero she was. Oh, don't be like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slitherboro. Runner and the others are probably worried. Let's grab that real quick. Then we will return. Alright, while I'm here, let me go ahead and attune to this. I didn't even do it earlier. What was I thinking? And then I can talk to Thinkard and Memphilia. Alright, Memphilia? 
Everything okay? Thank you, I can explain. Oh, we didn't make it back on time. Well, out with it then. Oh gosh, thank her. Give her some... Man, give her a chance. Thank goodness you are safe. I had begun to fear the worst. Here's your gemstone. Or your heartstone. By all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with the service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits unto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be failed by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Okay. I feel like that's a long extended amount of time on that one. I think for right now, we're just going to end the episode here. Because I feel like we've gone for like a long enough and got a lot of stuff. And I think the next thing is probably going to be pretty lengthy. And I'm trying to stay at a consistent good time. Thank you all for tuning in on this episode of uh, Shadowbringers. Hopefully you enjoyed it and all that. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to see what happens next. But I think we will just end it right here. So thank you all for tuning in. Stay optimistic. Keep it real. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.